stands for dreams, but today also for design. Hello dreamers, Ivan here for another episode of Keep It Open, in which I'm taking you step by step on the Open Idea path. If you are one of my new followers, go to openidea.bit slash workbook and download the full workbook. Also, remember to watch the last 8 episodes of my IGTV Keep It Open series. In this step, using the social identity defined last week, you will redesign the visual identity from the colors to the font all the way to the graphic structures, website and useful templates that can simplify the implementation of a coordinated image strategy. All it needs to be recognizable and to get known. Before starting, ask each member of your team to find and analyze the designs and the web structures of all your major competitors the ones found in the positioning step, and also of all the main players of the environment. Then, discuss what they found before starting the design step. As we said in the previous step, the identity of the idea consists of the story that makes it unique. The best stories are those covered in details. In a world of press, monitors, and high resolution, many of these details are visible. It is therefore important to articulate the social identity within visual identity. The main thing in this process is the logo design. That visual sign that will characterize your idea, which must be a synthesis of all that makes it unique. Furthermore, it's important that that it's simple, easy to remember, and adaptable to any situation and size. For this reason, if you want a memorable logo, colors and fonts, as well as shapes and size, are the components from which you have to start. To design a logo, you may choose to hire a graphic designer or to use an AI logo generator, as Taylor Brands, for example. In both cases, before going hands-on, you should make some order and decisions so to get the, the results that best fits your idea. Remember, artificial intelligence and answer tools are very powerful and they may do a great job for a very low budget, but you need to give them the proper instructions. From a conceptual point of view, it's important to think about the two main levels of the visual identity. The first level is the so-called core, which is fixed and immutable, universally accepted within the idea, is the soul that represents its very essence. The second level is the extended core, it's a direct derivation of the core, but in strict connection and relation with the idea's environment. This means it's adapts, it can be changed if necessary, but the upgrade must always keep true to its core. A logo may change with the fashions or according to taste of your users, but the heart must always remain the same and be always recognizable. This is why defining the social identity before the visual identity can help you design a logo ready to grow and evolve with your idea and last forever. And there will be moments in which you will get tired of your ideas logo and colors. But these are precisely the moments in which it's important to stop and remember how little time we occupy in the lives of our users and how what for us becomes boring for them is rec recognizable. The second phase of this model is based precisely on this concept. You will insert logo, colors, fonts and forms characterizing your idea in any space, in any gadget, paper, whatever you have that runs in and out of your idea, from the website to the shop or office, passing through social channels, stationery, invoices and uniforms, everything will have to be coordinated. Art is a society of attention and it is important to use every millisecond that is granted to us to communicate and interact. You need to pay particular attention to your website, of course, which not only needs to be graphically coordinated, but every page, every button or text must represent the organization and be possibly useful to the user. So, now go to page 28 of the Open Idea Workbook and start designing the, your idea's visual identity. This is all for today. Stay creative, keep going, and always remember to keep it open. Ciao!